Today we are going to be focusing on the rabbit truck. As you guys saw in the rest of the series, we have swapped the Mark III TDI in it, built the hood stack, did all the wiring myself, all the swap stuff myself. So check out all those videos. I'll try to put them in the description. There should be stick on molding on the sides, like how our rabbit has it's like stick on chrome stuff. But this was all taken off by someone and then they decided to paint a black stripe down the side of it, which makes it hideous. So today, Jamie's going through and trying to get all of that off. It's not working great yet, but she's got most of it off. And then I think we might have to like buff it or something. We'll, we'll figure it out, but it's gonna be a long time of this. You can see how much better it looks compared to that. And uh, we have other mods we're gonna do. We have some brand new wheels for the truck. They're over there in this pile. And I also have brand new headlight bezels. So we gotta put those in as well. For now, we'll just uh, continue on with stripping the side of the truck. Jamie got done the whole passenger side and you can see it looks so much better. There's a couple spots where paint got pulled up with uh, whoever pulled off the adhesive trim, which we'll just touch it up with something because it doesn't really matter. It's an old truck. We just don't want it to rust bad. But you can see over here, haven't touched anything yet. We did take the fender antenna off. And of course I bought a part that said it would fit and it doesn't fit. So I got to try to find a grommet that'll cover this we'll figure something out and yeah it's just a, a bunch more to go on she all she's using is just um the original goof off and this one this one's good for the adhesive mm -hmm. and then this one's good for the paper and then um the little plastics razor blades seem to be working really well it's probably harder to tell on camera but uh this one this size is just like the holes were like misaligned so if you look at that hole the hole for this is here but the hole in the grill is like up here and uh you can see it like wants to pull it up there's nothing i can do unless i want to like egg out all the holes which i'm not that worried about it right now i'll just put oem ones in later if it bugs me enough the front end looks what up bye what'd she say she crashed into a tree the next thing to do is probably going to be yanking the front bumper off but as of right now it looks really good jamie's still going down the side here just taking that terrible stripe and old adhesive off has been a hard time for but you see over here it just looks so much better so right here the car looks really good we just got to get rid of those goofy wheels and the goofy bumper and my, uh, one of my buddies has a windshield. So this one has some nasty scratches. It could be saved, but what we're worried about is how this seal, this seal is just supposed to be push in, meaning there's not supposed to be any sealer. And you can see there's sealer everywhere. I got a new windshield seal, uh, OEM one, a German brand, a good German brand one and uh, hopefully we'll get that windshield and we'll also be able to change the mirror placement because this mirror is up so high that you can't flip the visors down you can see right now the visor is hitting the mirror so the mirror oem spot is about right here it's about like two three inches up too high just be able to 
can do it in a thousand pieces. Hopefully it won't. You can get seals that have this slit and without the slit. If you have the slit, you have to put in this stuff. Otherwise, you'll get all kinds of garbage in there. Oh, you broke it instantly. <laughs> See? Wait, wait, watch out, watch out, watch out. Stop, because now there's going to be shit everywhere. Yeah. yeah, it's out. Now it's just cracked. Come on. So why did you crack it? Because she want, thought it would be funny. It would and be fun. Now we could have saved the windshield, and now it's totally no, done. No, it just looks like it. We got the new seal on and we went through and rush treated everything. So see now it's like this black color. So hopefully that should prevent the rust from spreading. So we're at this point, I got a couple of plastic uh, scrapers to kind of help the seal. Um, th this was really hard to like get on. It's, I mean, it's the nature of it, I guess. We're definitely gonna have a tough time doing it. Probably won't record too much, but if you see down here on this bottom edge, so you have like three little rubber sections of it, and then you have this bottom edge. Um, that we're gonna run wire or string, whatever I can find. You run string through it or wire, and then you you loop it down here, and you loop it up here, and then when you uh, put it in here uh, you, you silicone all this up and you silicone the seal up real good and you kind of push it in and you have someone hold it real tight and then someone gets in and they grab the loop and you pull it and then the inside of that flap will come over and it'll kind of lock on to these little metal pieces that, that you want the seal to go over that and then this metal is going to keep it from pulling back out speaker wires like really good that's usually what I use but uh, don't have any here, so figure it out in a second. And then inside the car, now you just got to keep kind of winding um, the seal back around so you know you got good fit up on everything. So that's what we're doing now is just gonna keep pulling it back because it needs to be locked into that um, that metal channel. So we'll just keep going along. Maybe I'll be outside and Jamie be inside, something like that. Whereas one person's outside pushing it in to where you can kind of flip this up and get it deeper on. Because you can see how far the old seal was. We're close, we're just not there yet. Uh, I gotta get some new wipers so we don't scratch it up, but and from far back, it looks like a brand new windshield. It looks pretty sweet. And this seal, the seal is a thousand times better than it was. No more sealer all around, sticking around. You know, we, we cleaned up all the spots we could. Mm -hmm. You can still see like little rust specks and stuff like that. But again, we rush treated it, but man, it looks so much nicer than it did. And we're just constantly just making the truck look better. Jamie got all this side done. I don't know if I showed you guys. Uh, there's a couple little weird spots. Like, uh, we we'll just have to kind of put yellow paint in them. Yeah, that's all we can do. And then uh, this fender's gotta be kind of readjusted because it just started uh, moving. So I got um, headlight bezels in. I showed you guys, I put all the uh, OEM grill clips in. Those were awesome to find, but uh, the next thing on the list is the bumper. So we'll get to taking that off next. You like it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
like it? Get it. Cool that it's OEM and all. It'll definitely look better once it's bolted on, but I don't think it's for this truck. Yeah, I don't think. I think if we get another truck, it might be for that truck, but yeah, I don't. I don't think it works for this particular truck. Yeah. It's, I just don't think it looks. Good. It doesn't match. I feel like if they were maybe lower, yeah. Maybe there's an aftermarket option. I don't know. This is an OEM option. So maybe that's why it looks kind of goofy and it's up tall. Um, yeah, it would probably look a lot better on a tan one. It just, it really does not look good on this truck. 